Daddy. I play Clash of Clans sometimes. So um, I wanted to just do a raiding, um, a raiding video, really. <laughs> I like the game and I like raiding. But first of all, I just wanted to show you a, a base that I admire. Um, you know, I've, I've become a farmer. Um, you know, the game isn't really a backup for me anymore. I don't really think it ever will be. I just quite enjoy fighting people. But um, there's a, the kind of farmers. I mean, we're, we're a kind of farmers. There's farming for gold. There's uh, Revolution 1776, um, there's a whole bunch of other great clans as well and and amongst the other great clans that I'd say is Exploitation are up there as well and this is the leader so you know it's a, an example of good base design if, you, if you're if you a farmer so his design is based around dual expos which you know not everybody has dual expos um, he's got a lot of reach with the expos and the simple simple strategies you know using your walls to um, to segregate your base so that an attacker, thinking from the point of view of an attacker, I mean this is a totally symmetrical base, he's got um, little segments everywhere that are going to stop an attacker. And he's also separated very nicely, you've got four bases really here, all, all the bases are the same if you look at them um, in quarters, there are like four bases put together and in each one is gold. That would be a really hard base for you to attack and to win anything from unless you're using you know, just something silly like, uh, you know, dragons or peckers and stuff that no one would ever really use those for, for farming unless it's a, an overnight build and they've got lots of elixir. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that as an example of a good base. Um, I don't have anything to teach these guys. <laughs> okay, so mo the most important thing is we're going to go and fight. Um, so let's see what we've got here. We've got pretty much a standard build, uh, my regular viewers will notice. Um, so, you know, eight wall breakers, eight, eight giants. I'm loving the new giants. Um, it's a small amount of, of archers and some goblins. And the minions are really a mop up troop at the end if I need them. So, let's go and find some fights. I just move the iPad there, is it okay? So, 100,000 uh, 100, gold minimum. Or um, it gets to a point where it's too boring and I just fight anything because I don't want to leave you guys waiting. Searching opponents, I don't know if you guys see that at all. I see it all the time. Yeah, three, 752 gold. I think we may, may, may skip that one. Forty-two thousand. Some people say, you know, it's it's a shame that there's a level 102 attacking a level 50, but. The point is though that you don't get leveled up on attacking, you get leveled up on defending. So, you know, he, he could attack me with, with, you know, level 6 troops and have just as good chance as a, as a you know, if he's 50, he could have just as good chance as if he's, if he's level 100. There we go. 44,000 gold? I don't think so. Some nice bases though, don't you think? 23,000 gold. I suppose it was probably a bad idea raiding right now because it's time it's 8 o'clock in the UK so Americans have just woken up, North Americans have just woken up. There's a lot of players in Canada, you know the game came out three months before um, it came out in the rest of the world in Canada. It was a, a beta process. It's quite a nice place. I'd like to raid that, it's a lot of gold though. Um, yeah, it came out in July, I think, uh, in Canada. So that's why there's so many Canadian clans, because they all got established first. Uh, some, some app game designers tend to sort of do that a little bit, don't they? I wish they'd put them out in the UK first. I like getting in first, getting an advantage. Of course, one of the reasons why the old guys, uh, you know, the beta guys, did so well was because they used to regenerate uh, resources on single player. They used to regenerate resources, so you just kept on going backwards and back, you know, just kept on just doing Sherbet Towers again and again and again. And every time it just had, you know, was it a million gold or whatever it was. Ah, oh, okay. That looks nice. So that's quite a, quite a good base, really. The challenge we've got, though, is that those, those mortars will one, sh one shot my, my archers. So I can either 
go in from there or go in from there out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do both. Not with the troops I've got, but his mortar there is a bit exposed. I'd like to have a go at that. Shall we? So, let's just take out the outlying buildings. Throw in my king. The reason I throw in the king is it's going to distract a little bit. Throw in some more breakers there. there. Might be a few too many more breakers actually. Right, if you can take out that mortar. Ah, oh, good. Into the middle there. I think I might even use uh, rage on this. What do you reckon? I don't want to throw too much in because it's a bit of a big kill zone in there. Oh, I, wish, I wish we had the old wall breaker. Ah, oh, okay, that's good. We're going that way. Try and distract it from those. If I can manage to get the something in there, that'd be really good, wouldn't it? Ah, always do that. We we have one or two little. Little mines that. Okay, let's see if I can take out that. Uh, take out that cannon there. All right. I just want to distract, basically distract these weapons so that I can get, I can sneak my. Um, there we go. Sneak them in. I reckon that'll probably be enough for me to do one of those. That's handy. Okay. How do I get into there though? That's really interesting. Okay. Well, I think this might be the minion time, don't you? Now, where would I put minions? Right, so I'm going to put one or two minions in. There we go. Oh, get in there. Two air mines on one. Like it. Okay. So if you take, if they take that one out, they both go to that. Yeah, that worked out. Okay. The thing with the minions is you, you really have to, it's really essential that you um, you put in one or two minions into areas where you think there may be some, some air mines, because an air mine could take out entire, just all the minions and you're absolutely stuffed. Now I've got a, I don't reckon that's it, I reckon I'm done there. Am I going to wait until he takes that? No, I've got 64%, I'm done. So, I... It cost me forty-four thousand for the uh, for the rage, so I made a profit of one hundred and fifty thousand. I go out looking for a hundred thousand, and I would say that was okay, don't you? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We saw one really good base, you know. I mean, we had a reasonable raid. Uh, raid. So I'm on four point one million. I've got a I've got a builder free, so um, I would imagine by the time I do my next video, you'll see that builder's busy working on. Um, on that little puppy there, the Archer Tower for 5 million. Thank you very much, I hope you did enjoy it. I enjoy making these and I really do enjoy reading the comments, so um, please, you know, let rip. Um, well, if you have any thoughts, how would you have done that base? Would you have approached it from a different way? I'd be really interested to hear. Um, yeah, drop, drop me in the comments and look forward to hearing from you. If you do like, I appreciate you liking. Thank you for all my subscribers, you're really important to me. Um, but if you're not subscribing and you did like it, then I would appreciate your sub. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.